Super three-year-old Jack Pill returned to racing with a soft win at the Valley on a day where four outsiders ruined the punter's Christmas cheer. They came late in the day. The first was won by the favourite, although easy, sent along at seven to four, likely to go to New Zealand for the Magic Millions. The second, to faith no more, loves it wet and loves the Valley at three to one. Race three, and the Rubiton filly Rebrani having her first start with Darren Gouchy on board scored at five to two from the favourite Rochetta at six to four. The high-class three-year-old Jack Pill made his comeback to racing in today's open sprint, the gelding stifling betting at long odds on. A virus robbed trainer John Sadler of his best horses in the spring, but he was about to earn an early Christmas present. Jack Pill led at the 300 metre mark. He's had an easy run. He's a length Rosso Verde Century rising the outside, then Prince Malcolm Durham Rivers. Jack Pill for home, a length and a half in front of Century rising Rosso Verde, then Durham Rivers the outside, but the brilliant three year old Jack Pill showing the whip. Two lengths in front on the last little bit and holding Century rising. And Jack Pill, six out of six, wins it by two lengths. Second Century rising, Durham Rivers a neck away third. And then so six came... out of six for Jack Pill, who's now won all four starts at Mooney Valley and will now be set for the William Reed start on Australia Day. Sadler admitted to some nerves before the race. I was pretty uptight before the race and because uh, expectations of the horse are high but it was just good to see him come back and, and do so well. It seemed to be a soft win, he seemed to have plenty there. He's very very cunning and smart racehorse and he's uh, he's only doing what he's got to do. Bookies taking no risks, Jack Pill at 5-2 to two on, Century Rising racing well second at 13-2. to two. So to race five and a succession of long shots started with higher more. Tango Master tackled by Clams Comet around the turn. A length and a half further back is higher more and then looks great. Tango Master in front of the bend from Clams Comet who might have shot his bolt. Running on his higher more and looks great right down the outside. Tango Master in front of higher more and looks great. Higher more coming after Tango Master. Higher more put its head in front of Tango Master. Looks great the outside but higher more. Just won it by a half a hit to Tango Master. Looks great as third. Then the seven-year-old gelding higher more posted his first city win. Therese Payne, winning jockey. He just got beaten at our out in his last start and probably he was pulling a bit early when the pace was off and that probably cost him the race, but, but today it suited him down to the ground. Tango Master, beaten into second, will still go to Perth for the railway. Higher more, 14 to 1, was runner-up at Ballarat and Ararat at his previous two. The hot favourite Tango Master having no answer in the run home. So to the next, and a double for Rick Orlacey in the Phillies event. On. But Miss Muncher with a break round the bend, two lengths for Marta Sister Indian, and now Dutchie's Gem is starting to wind up on the outside. Miss Muncher the leader, Dutchie's Gem coming out after it, followed by Controversial Lady. Miss Muncher in front, still a length and a half in front of Dutchie's Gem, and now Controversial Lady. But it's Miss Muncher still in front, nearing the line, and Miss Muncher beats Controversial Lady by a length. Dutchie's Gem weakening on the run to third, and then for Miss Muncher, easy from fives out to eight to one, has won her only two starts. Controversial lady at threes equal with Dutchie's gem. So to Ray Seven and a double to the Payne family. Paddy home on Tornich. Wobber hanging badly into the straight and now Spirit Razor and Tornich has got the split. Tornich has hit the front from Wobber Spirit Razor and Fredemus finishing well. But it's Tornich in front of Spirit Razor and Fredemus. Tornich is the leader down nearing the line and Tornich is going to win it. By a length to Fredemus. A head away third is Spirit Razor from Wobber. Tornich at 12 to 1, getting the money for Paddy Payne over Fredemus and Spirit Razor. And the last was won by Blue Set at 16 to 1 over Dolls of Turi and Rising Supreme. Daily double today, paid $155.80 for 6 and 6. The extra 3 and 2, $4.30. The Quadrello returned $2,069.10. And not a bad quad extra, $46,500 into the Christmas stocking. But nobody picked the straight six. That'll jackpot to Boxing Day. Queensland Gallop a shining wind took out today's Villiers in Sydney, posting his 12th win from 31 starts. He just grabbed the outsider, Mighty Ramu, on the line. Then switching to the outside as Chimes M, Stradmore and Pre-Record is switched to the outside as well as they come down towards the 200 metres though. It's Rose Road in front. Mighty Rimu's the first one to come out and issue the challenge. Here comes Shining Wind. Pontormo's finishing quickly and Heatherton Chief got badly bailed up on the fence as they come down past the 100 in front. Mighty Rimu on the outside. Shining Wind trying hard. Mighty Rimu, Shining Wind. Shining Wind got there on the very last bound. Beat Mighty Rimu, Pontormo flying home down the outside. Last stride win there to Shining Wind, starting 9-2 to two equal over Mighty Ramu, Pontormo and Stradmore missed the start, hopelessly the other equal favourite.
Well, that's it for me for some time. Uh, have a very Merry Christmas, and Paul, I'll see you in 92. Off on holidays. Exactly. Month of luck. Yeah, Keep away forward. from those racetracks, too. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. OK, well, it was nice to see the sunshine over Santa Corda Kuyong today, and plenty of sunshine around the northern parts of...